are now in the crops improvement and seed selection and for the topic for the creation of variation. So what is plant breeding again? So it is a science, art, and business of crop improvement for human benefit. It improves quality disease and insect resistance, change in maturity duration, agronomic characteristics, photosensitivity, synchronous maturity, non-shattering characteristics, and others in plant breeding so this is the topic for today which is the creation of variation first we have naturally existing variability so there is a domestication process bringing wild species under human management so uh, first we have naturally existing variability again it is a germplasm collection of a large number of genotypes of a crop species and its wild relatives. Second, in introduction, taking a genotype or a group of genotypes of plants into new environments where they were not being grown before. So second is the creation of new variability. So there will be an hybridization or the crossing genotype. Uh, genetically dissimilar individuals so crossing of the two um, individuals or uh, plant species so third is the hybrid so uh, we have in breeding so we have mating of individuals related by ancestry and leads to production of homozygous individuals. So in the breed in breeding, mating of parents who are closely genetically related and results in increased homozygosity, which can increase the chance of uh, uh, offspring having some recessive traits. So, same flower with different flowers and some inflorescences. Inflorescence. And so, what is inbreed? It is the product of inbreeding, hence, consequently, a homozygous individual. So the result of inbreed is uniformity of traits, which cause the loss of plant vigor. So again for the hybrid we have top cross so it is the cross between an inbreed and an open pollinated variety like um corns yes then another for test cross a uh, cross between a plant or line and a tester and maybe an inbreed hybrid and synthetic or open pollinated variety And for the back cross, a cross between a hybrid and one of its parents, also a breeding method based on repeated back crossing of F1 or the first generation of spring of a cross and the subsequent generation to the recurrent parent usually transfer a major trait controlled by one or a few genes from the donor. So as the non-recurrent parent and the recipient or as the recurrent parent. And how about polycross? Open pollination in isolation among a number of selected genotypes arranged in a matter that promotes random mating. So th that was uh, polycross and uh, backcross. Uh, we have on the hybrid which is the process of reciprocal cross. It is the mating of two individuals in which each is used as the male parent and in one cross and the female parent in the other. Next is the intraspecific cross. It is the crossing individuals belonging to the same species. Next will be the wide or the distant cross. It is the crossing distantly related individuals. And intergressive hybridization. It is the repeatedly buck crossing interspecific hybrids to the one of the parental species, leading to the transfer of some genes from one species to another.
superior here in the D heterosis of hybrid vigor. Superiority of the first generation or the F1 hybrid over its parents. So we have first, we have mid-parent heterosis. The second is heterobeltiosis. And third is the standard heterosis. So heterosis refers to the superior phenotypes, which is the physical characteristics of the plants. So we have phenotypes and the genotypes, which is from its genes. So we have phenotypes, phenotypes, is a uh, physical characteristics of certain plants and well genotype it is gene gene genetic uh, variation or genetic characteristics of the plants so observed in hybrid relative to their inbreed parents with respect to traits such as growth rate reproductive success and the yield so according to the plant Bio biotechnology and agriculture 2012 So for the letter E, we have combining ability. So it is the ability of a genotype to transfer its desirable traits to its progeny. So first, we have general combining ability, which is the average performance of a strain in a series of the crosses. Second is a specific combining ability, which is the deviation of general combining ability of the parent lines. And letter F is in breeding depression. So we know from the word depression, it has gone, gone into stress, uh, time, which causes it to the plants to um, become stunted and not grow well. So it is the loss of vigor due to inbreeding. So with the use of same plant material, or the process of inbreeding, the result or the, the fruits or the plant itself will now become smaller and less achieve less to achieve the wanted desirable traits. So for the letter G we have mutation. So first we have the hair tabul Okay, we have the G, which is the mutation. It is the heritable change in an organism. Second is spontaneous mutations occurring in natural populations. Third is induced mutations, which is artificially produced by treatment with certain physical or chemical agents or mutagens. So, as you can see in the pictures, due to the mutations, the shapes and the color of of the plants and the fruits had changed so H is the chimera okay we have the G which is the mutation it is the heritable change in an organism second is spontaneous mutations occurring in natural populations third is induced mutations which is artificially produced by treatment with certain physical or chemical agents or mutagens. So, as you can see in the pictures, due to the mutations, the shapes and the color of, of the plants and the fruits had changed. The letter H, it is the chimera. This is an individual with one genotype in some of its parts and other genotype in other parts. So again, the difference between genotype and phenotype, the genotype is the, is the genes of the internal, internal body or the internal characteristics of certain individual, especially in plants and even in animals. It's the same. Well, the phenotypic or the phenotype, it represents uh, the physical traits, the physical characteristics of certain individuals, especially on plants. Go to the eye, which is the polyploidization. It is the increasing ploidy level to more than two identical or distinct genomes, which is the multiplication of the whole chromosome complement and has occurred frequently in vascular plants. So we have the vascular tissues, diba? Uh, we have the two vascular tissues, which is the xylem and the phloem, which is the flow, 
um, the upward and the downward current of uh, tra translocating nutrients from the soil which is the, the water and other nutrients while on the downward locate uh, translocation of the different food from the sugar which is the phloem from the leaves down to the different parts of the plants maintenance of a stable polyploid state over generations requires special mechanisms to control pairing and distribution of more than two homologous chromosomes during meiosis so you have polyploidy can make the flowers bigger and fruits bigger so for the for the sample on the last picture stating that 2 n is equals to 2 x so it is the natural which is the native of, of course after the polyploidization uh, the 2 n or the 2 number will become the 4 x so it will change the characteristics or the genotypic and physical uh, phenotypic characteristics of certain plants also because of polyploidization it will increase the the harvesting the harvested fruits of the different uh, trees so for the letter J genetic engineering we have the production of transgenic plants which is thus changing the genetic makeup of plants by direct introduction of genes from microorganisms, animals, or other plant species, which is done when sexual hybridization between the recipient and the donor, which is impossible. So, what are the steps for the genetic engineering? First, we have identification of genes which is the construction of the vectors. Second is the in vitro plant regeneration system. Third is gene introduction methods. Fourth is molecular analysis. Fifth is gene expression assays. And sixth is the stability and transmission analysis. So that's all for the creation. And that's all for the topic, creation of variation.